the corner. Volunteers across the state are doing their part to preserve the natural wonder of its flora. Yeah, Dina's standing by with more from the California Native Plant Society. Hi, Dina. Hi, yes, good morning to all of you. So last half hour, we got to go to the state capitol and look at the redwoods and see what the Native Plant Society is doing to protect one of the succulents that grows along the coast. But you don't have to have a big yard. You don't even have to have a yard in order to help sponsor some of the legislative uh, bills that are being put through and also just to conserve a little. So we want to go back out now to a property, a private property, where we have David Bryant and Billy Krimmel joining us. So first, David, you're with the Native Plant Society. So tell me where you guys are and what is behind you? What, what, what are you working so hard to protect here in this space? Yeah, thanks, Dina. We are here in a private property in Sacramento, and behind us is a glorious California native plant garden. At uh, the California Native Plant Society, we promote the cultivation of native plants in gardens and across the built landscape. And that's what's so fabulous about native plants is that we can all become environmental stewards and make a huge difference with these plants. We can provide habitat uh, for so many types of wildlife, preserve precious resources like water, and bring in a unique beauty that you can only find in California. So. That's what you're seeing behind us, and, and Billy here uh, designed this absolutely beautiful garden. So I'll pass it to you, Billy, to, to give some insight into that. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, I'm here with uh, Miraday Landscape Architecture and Construction. So we're a design build landscaping company out of Sacramento focusing on native plants. I'm um, really excited to collaborate with CNPS on this Bloom project. And we designed and built this uh, residential project. So it's got a bunch of native plants providing a lot of really good habitat for all sorts of pollinators and native wildlife. And sort of with a more modern aesthetic. And a lot of the work we do is to try to show that you can do uh, native landscaping and native gardens in a way that doesn't necessarily look like a mess and looks more like an organized and, and you know, intentional landscape that people um, might expect from a more conventional landscape. Yeah, it looks beautiful, and you can tell things were placed purposefully, right? So I know there are a lot of different types of native plants there, but it looks like it was all intentional. And I, I understand there's some white sage. So tell me the importance of the white sage and where that is in this landscaping. Yeah, absolutely. So another really important part about California native plants is that they're inextricable from indigenous cultures and California Native American legacies. White sage is a sacred plant to many tribes in, in Southern California. Right now, we're actually working with uh, Tongva elders in a class down in Los Angeles County where students are actually growing white sage, babies. They're growing them. They've actually all survived the semesters, which is really fabulous. And they, uh, they really crystallize when the students grow these white sage plants and hear from the Tongva elders about their culture and about their philosophy, about land stewardship. It all crystallizes and becomes real. And so we are lucky enough to have a white sage plant behind us. Uh, that Billy put in, and it's just, you can see a, a really beautiful plant. So, so much behind every native plant, whether you're talking about habitat, or it's just natural beauty, or it's cultural legacies. Wow, this is, it is beautiful, and I'm always looking for ways to, to spruce up my yard, so I love knowing that those are the sort of plants that will work well within the ecosystem here in Northern California, too. So, CNPS, you're partnering with nurseries, water agencies, other partners to transform yards with native plants. If you'd like to get more information, we're going to put all the info on our Good Day Sacramento website. They're also looking for nurseries to participate in this campaign that they're going to launch this fall for consumers. So, probably, like you said, growing some more of those white sage plants and other plants so that we can put them in our gardens. So thank you both so much. It was so fun to learn more about your organization, your nonprofit. And again, you can head to our Good Day Sacramento website if you'd like to learn more and maybe even hire the landscaper there so that you can get mm. some of those plants in your own home.